believe it or not, I'm not wearing a black or gray shirt today. Surprise, surprise. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Too Much Tech. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Cooler Master MM710, a pleasant surprise from an unexpected source. So, Cooler Master, obviously, we know them as the case and processor cooler manufacturer, one of the biggest ones around. This thing is really good i did not expect this thing to be in my personal top favorite mice of the year but this one does do a really good job at rounding it out they destroyed a lot of companies this year in terms of like making a really good small form factor lightweight mouse so let's go ahead and get into this review so the first thing that i want to say and just talk about real quick is just the design it's really simple it's really good I think that the build quality is decent when you squeeze it, it doesn't really creak that much. And you would think that it does because it does have a lot of really big holes cut into the mouse. And like I said, once again, this is a really small mouse as well. So this is gonna be really good if you guys are looking for something that's around the size of a Model O Minus or G Pro, but a little bit more comfortable because this thing is a bit more comfortable than both the Model O Minus that is and the Logitech G Pro for me because they have this little hump toward the back side of the mouse that makes it just a little bit more comfortable in the palm of your hand to give you just a little bit of extra support. I like how all the cutouts that they made are all in Cooler Master's logo design, so that's pretty cool as well. The mouse one and two doesn't really wiggle from side to side that much, so I am really impressed with that because that looks like it has been changed from some of the pre-production reviews of this mouse that I've seen and the scroll wheel is really good all of the buttons are solid i do love the size and the feel of the side buttons hands down like the perfect size are super easy to hit and you will never misclick them mouse one and two side buttons dpi mouse wheel I think it's pretty solid. So I cannot recall exactly which sensor is in this mouse. I wanna say it's the 3389, but I can't remember. So I'll throw it on the screen right here. It's either the 3360 or the 3389. Um, it doesn't really matter because they both work. This one works really well. I had no problems tracking my enemies. The sensor works good. I hit my flicks. Life is good with this mouse. Speaking of hitting flicks, the skates on this mouse are really good. I have no desire to feel like I need to change the skates. I'll say they're like almost as good as the Model O and the Model O skates are pretty good. So I will say that this is basically on par with the Model O of Model O minus. What's nice about this mouse as well, pretty similar to the G-Wolves Hottie, they do include an extra pair of feet in the box as well. So if you ever feel like you need to replace your skates, there is an extra set in the box. One of the best things about the MF710 is the stock paracord. That thing is really freaking good. Me personally, it's my number two favorite paracord of this year. Number one being the Razer Viper, number two obviously being this one. And it's not far off from the Razer Viper either. So you won't have any issues with this paracord. Obviously just make sure that you use a mouse bungee and ensure the longevity of your mouse. Make sure that your cable doesn't snag at the end of your desk. Mouse bungees are dirt cheap too. They're like 20 bucks. I'll have it linked in the description below in case you're interested in picking up a mouse bungee to extend the life of your mouse and the cable. There's really only a couple of bad things about the MM710. So number one, there's no soft were available for the mouse just yet. So you have like all your built-in DPI settings like 400, 800, I think it's like 1200, 1800, and maybe higher than that. I'm sure it's higher than that, but I just played on 800 because that's the closest that I could get to a thousand without going way higher. So that's kind of unfortunate. I couldn't fine tune and dial in my perfect DPI. So I had to mess around with my in-game sensitivity, which is fine, I guess. I wish it just didn't have to. And I assume that the software is going to come out when they come out with the uh, MM750 or 810 or whatever, the RGB version. Speaking of which, there's no RGB. So not until the new one that comes out in December. And we'll probably review that one as well because it has RGB. So why not? But yeah, other than that, I mean, for the, I think, $50 price tag that this MM710 is, it's a really good deal. You get an extra set of feet in the box. You get a nice compact size mouse that is super comfortable and lightweight. 
It weighs in about 53 and a half grams on my scale. I really have nothing bad to say about the MM710. And that is really impressive from a case and cooler company essentially to come out with a really high end mouse this year. They did a really good job with their final production models. And uh, I'm really impressed with Cooler Master and I look forward to seeing what they're gonna do in the future. Now, Cooler Master, I'm gonna throw a curveball at you. Make this same mouse a little bit bigger. Make the Ergo mouse, like similar to the Model D, a little bit bigger, more comfortable Model O. Do the same thing and just make this MM710 bigger for people that do have a little bit bigger hands like myself. Cause uh, I would love to use one of these and just make sure you make it in white. Cause I think a matte white mouse, a little bit bigger with RGB, would be sweet as heck but all right that is gonna be it for this video today guys if you guys enjoyed of course be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new if you guys are interested in picking up this mouse two things one i will have this mouse linked down in the description below amazon obviously all these products we pretty much pay for out of pocket just like this one so uh help the channel out and buy the products using our link if you're interested in them second of all we are running a giveaway as well this month this month we will be giving away this Cooler Master MM710. And I think it's a really good giveaway too because this mouse, as I just said, is pretty nice. So one of you lucky people will be able to win this mouse this year. But to end this video, I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay of me using the MM710. This thing is a beast. Hope you guys enjoy. But of course, drop a like once again and subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on that bell to receive post notifications. Super easy, it doesn't take long at all. Just go ahead and do it and get us to 5,000 subscribers. Another thing too, wanna thank you guys for the huge support on the channel over the past few days as well with the Alienware videos and the Power Aid controller and all the other videos that you guys have been watching and subscribing to the channel. So welcome all new subscribers and thank you old subscribers for supporting the channel. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, enjoy the gameplay. Oh my god, he has one more bat there, like right in the back. There you go. <laughs> they get me that skip right now. Really?